Good Tuesday morning. It's great to be back with you to do these encouragements. Uh, thank you to Mark and Narcy for filling in uh, for me uh, the last few encouragements as we uh, dealt with making plans and then uh, the funeral of uh, Martha's mother, Ruth. That would lead me to thank you. Thank you very much for your your calls and your texts and your cards and the way that you have expressed uh, your condolences, but especially your love and comfort with Martha and our family during these days. Uh, if Ruth had lived just another week or so, she would have been 95 years old. She lived a wonderful life, and she was a great Christian lady, and uh, we we miss her, and we're going to miss her, but we we celebrate her wonderful life. So thank you, and God bless you for uh, what you have meant to our family this past week. This morning, uh, I got up and got my coffee and decided to ride around a little bit and then come back home and get dressed and go to the church. And I rode by the Rollins Center in town to see if anyone was voting. And I was shocked. I mean, folks, it looked like a Somerville football game on Friday night. There were so many cars out, police directing traffic. The line started on the side and went all the way across the front and way up the side sidewalk. Um, while one who had planned on voting early in absentee, uh, it, it concerned me a little bit that you'd have to wait uh, that long for the line. Uh, so I might just wait and vote at the church. Uh, on voting day, we are one of the precincts. The church will be uh, closed that day uh, for voting. So my my encouragement, I guess, is a little different uh, this morning because I'm going to encourage you to vote. Voting is uh, one of the ways that uh, you have to express your opinion and your rights as not only a citizen of these United Method, excuse me, of these United States. But also, I think voting to me is a duty as a Christian that uh, you vote in a way that you believe that would affect uh, our society. I, I don't endorse a candidate, but I do encourage you, encourage you, encourage you these days to, to vote uh, for the one of your choice. And I hope you'll vote. I pray you'll vote. Uh, I vote prayerfully after considering each candidate for each position. Now, John Wesley had something to say about voting. John Wesley encouraged his followers to vote, and he had three rules for voting. You, I've seen this on the Internet. You've probably uh, read them, but I, I want to repeat as a word of encouragement uh, John Wesley rules for voting. First, vote for the person you judge worthy. Study the issues and vote for the person you feel is worthy. Speak no evil against the person you vote against. Speak no evil of the person you vote against. That's, that's hard for us to do. But Wesley says, as Christians, speak no evil of the person you vote against. And then number three is very important these days. I just think so important these days to hear. Take care your spirits are not sharpened against those that voted on the other side. Take care your spirits are not sharpened against those that voted on the other side. We all live in a nation where we have the freedom to vote and to vote as, as we feel uh, led to vote. And uh, we continue to live with one another and we should live in unity. And I think that's so, so appropriate these days. Take care your spirit does not speak evil against others who voted in a way that you did not vote. So here are those rules today. Uh, Hopefully these last few weeks of this campaign, uh, you can practice them in your life. And then after this election's over, you can continue to pass, practice them. I've always voted in presidential elections ever since I was old enough to vote. 
Um, I remember even in 1976, when I lived in Atlanta uh, as a student, I found a way uh, to vote in that presidential election. So I encourage you, encourage each of you to go out and vote and uh, to vote for the candidate that you think is worthy of your vote. In closing now, uh, I do want to say a spiritual word. Psalms 8 is a wonderful wor word of comfort and joy. It's a, it's a prayer uh, given to us uh, and by the psalmist. It's a wonderful, wonderful prayer. So I'm going to end my encouragement today by sharing this prayer from Psalms 8. O oh Lord, you are our Lord. And how majestic is your name over all the earth. Your glory is chanted above the heavens by the mouth of babes and infants. You have set up a defense against your foes to still the enemies and the avenger. When I look to the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them? and mortals that you care for them. Yet you have made them a little less than God and crowned them with glory and honor. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you for your creation. Thank you that you have created each of us and that you bless us and love us on this beautiful day. For we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I love you. Have a great day.